Now you're going to look at how we do colour popping. So it's basically making colours stand out from a black and white image. So here's my original image here. I've got another image over here that we'll practice it on in a minute. Um, but the principle is the same on any image you choose. If you want the colour to pop out, you basically have to put in an adjustment layer that is black and white on top of it. So in my layers panel, I'm going to click down here on the adjustment button and choose black and white. Don't worry if you get this toolbar pop up. I'm just going to do that to get rid of it. And you can see here there's the adjustment layer over the top of the original image. So I'm going to choose my brush tool. I'm going to click on my brush toolbar and make sure that I've got a sensible shape like that. And the size is quite small. I can obviously change this later if I need to up here or there. Um, and make sure the black is in the foreground colour over here. If it's not, just press that button there and you should be able to get it back. I'm also going to zoom in. Control and plus, and I'm going to have a go at making this balloon here colourful again. Now, if you make a mistake, don't worry. If I suddenly go off it like that, for example, all I have to do is toggle back to white to, to be the foreground, go over my mistake, and it basically works like an eraser. So that's really helpful. So I'm going to change my colours back and carry on. And I can go in more detail, obviously, and I can change my brush size. Let's change it up here a bit, just so it's a bit easier to complete. We've got a large area. And it's a really effective tool. You don't just have to um, colour one thing in, obviously. Colour as many as you like. It depends what effect you're trying to get for your digital graphic. But it's a very useful tool. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see how good that looks just with that one. I could choose all the other pink balloons. Now, if I can't remember which ones are pink, there's no way I can remember that. Um, all I have to do is go over to my layer panel and make my top layer there invisible by pressing that I button. And I can see, oh, there's another pink one here. Or there's a pink one behind it there. So I could choose that. Or if I wanted different colours, I could choose that one as the yellow one. So it just helps me remember which balloon is which by turning the visibility on and off. So I'm going to make my yellow one there. Okay, I should have made the brush size a bit smaller, you see. There we go. Made a bit of a mistake in the top there, so I'm going to change that to white. Tidy it up. I could zoom in to make that better. You get the idea. Um, so that's how you do colour popping. It's exactly the same on any image you choose. So say I'm going to do it on this one. I'm going to add in a new adjustment layer that's black and white. I'm going to choose my brush tool. I'm going to change the black to be in the foreground. I'm going to zoom in because this is very detailed. So when I'm doing this one, I'm going to be really careful about the size brush I choose. Because if I choose that one, for example, even though it's quite small, it's not small enough for these little sparks. It's fine for the middle here. And I'm colouring it in. If I come out here, it just looks really clumsy. So if you make a mistake, remember, you can always as well either press Control Z um, or you can use the history toolbar which is also under windows and history should you need it um, so be really careful about the size of the brush that you choose so for example i'm going to go down and choose a really small one and that would help me do this you have to have a really steady hand to do something this detailed but you get the idea the same principle for the balloons so think about how you might use that and you could make your own image out of that and then put it into your digital graphic.